guys, today I'm going to do a quick comparison between screen mirroring on the Chromecast versus using a SlimPort adapter through HDMI. So today I have with me my SlimPort adapter connected to HDMI to the TV and also my Nexus 5. So to cast your screen to the Chromecast, you have to connect both your phone and the Chromecast to the same network and then simply go to your quick toggles and then at the bottom you'll see cast screen. Give that one a tap, choose the Chromecast you want, and then within seconds your screen is mirrored to the TV. So as I swipe around my home screen, you'll notice that there is a bit of a delay between me moving and the TV updating, but um, fast enough to do something like, say, show your photos on the TV to your friends. No problem there. Besides uh, showing images, you can also do music or, or sound. So if we play a song, you can hear that. And you can adjust the volume. And of course, as that's playing, you can still show your photos. Let's turn that off. Um, besides photos, uh, you, can, you can show movies. So let's find a movie, uh, Frozen, everyone's favorite. Uh, if you choose uh, VLC, your phone screen actually becomes a sort of remote while the movie plays on the TV. Uh, it is actually surprisingly good. There is very little delay and very little lag. And this is all coming from the phone uh, I am on a Wi-Fi N network. Um, it's it's very viewable, and you can skip backwards and forwards using the phone. Um, you can pause it. It'll pause, and um, and play again. Anyway, enough of that. So um, you can see there is a delay, but uh, let's see what happens when I try to play a game. Uh, I have a little game here called. Ruffle Copter. Uh, as you can see, I've already playing. But um, we can start the game. As you can see, there is definitely delay and probably not a good idea to play games on the TV using Chromecast screen mirroring. Um, now to see what it's like using the SlimPod adapter. So I'll disconnect the phone from the TV. So it's gone now. And I will connect the SlimPort adapter to my phone. Okay, so it's connected. I'll also have to change the channel or change the source on my TV. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, so the phone is now connected through SlimPort to the TV. As you can see, the delay is much less. Almost, almost one to one. And it's probably good enough to play a game, actually. As you can see, I'm performing much better this time than... Uh, than previously in this uh, Ruffle Copter game. Anyway, that's my quick comparison between Chromecast screen mirroring and um, SlimPort. And yes, SlimPort does do audio as well.